Hi everybody! Happy hump day. Will's coming, he's in the bathroom. But it's 9 o'clock, so the show is moving. We're live. St. Bernard always lays in front of the door, guys. Hey, you want a belly rub at that? You want a belly rub at that, Daddy? We're live. Guys, can anybody see us? Anybody in here? Drop it in the comments so we know where you're coming in from. What's up, Amy? Your live was amaze balls, as Rachel would say. Wow. Hi, Jess. Hi, Amber. What's up, Abby? Yes, Amy, we love your live. There's the king. Hey, What's up, Stacy? Hi, Abby. Hi, sis. I got up to 62%, y'all. Hey, that's pretty good. Hi, Ashley. Having a whole moment. <laughs> Is your phone dead? What's up, Rachel? I told Amy her live earlier was amaze balls, as you would say. It's pretty awesome. Okay. What's up, Amber? You guys, I'm so excited for uh, tonight. What was your day like today, anyway? What y'all get into? Kids are out on summer break now, most of them anyway. Yay, Stacy's on! That's what I'm talking about. Yes, that's what we call it in Team Strong, Abby Hope. Because <laughs> my phone is always dying, you guys. Amaze balls, yep, that's you, Rachel. Makes me think of you. Don't mind the crazy hair. Took a hot bath earlier. It was going to be a shower, but turned into a bath. Ladies, you know how that goes. Hey, you gotta sit down in that water. Oh no! <laughs> Your car died? Are you okay? Uh, you need to jump? Oh man. Not cool. I hate when my phone is dying too. And in your car and there's nothing you can do. That's the worst. What's up, Michelle? Three different men. Okay, you guys. Name, okay, tonight I wanted to go over some of the don'ts in a relationship. Will and I have been together for a few years now. I don't even know. <laughs> really know. It's been, it's been What's a, up, Crystal? It's been some years, to put it that way. We're, yes, we're, we're, awesome. We're, we're awesome, on, awesome, awesome. We're working on forgetting our age, so let alone how long we've been together. What's up, Mary? But, um, my hair is killing me. I needed to get jumped. I didn't even jump. <laughs> That's funny, Amy. I'm glad you got jumped. What's up, Jen? Hi, Jody. But uh, Will and I have been together for a few years now, guys, and we're building an empire together. And we've been through a lot of ups and downs. And um, I think that's life. That's how we learn how to coexist. And uh, we learned a lot about what you shouldn't do in a relationship. Not because we specifically did it, but we've had a lot of friends ask us for advice in certain situations. We've been through a lot ourselves. So, um, oh, Courtney, I love you. I think she said she already got her jump, but we'll see. Amy, shout out if you need to get a jump. You know, team my strong, dad came. Oh, hey, okay. Team strong somewhere. We somewhere in the world to help. Yes, I, believe that. I love our team. You We're guys, you guys are phenomenal. Guys. We're expanding. I'm just wanna, before we start this, I just want to give a huge shout out to our team. Uh, really, I just, work from home, guys. Seriously, that's the movement we're on right now. Seriously, it's summertime coming too. You need to be home with your kids. Sometimes Who wouldn't want to work from home? I'm just saying. Sometimes crazy. If you got teenagers. We are working on retiring teammates. That's what we're doing. What's up, Sage? Period. Hey, beautiful. So anyway, I found this article. You guys know me. And um, it talked about relationship don'ts. And I added a couple of my own in there. And we're going to talk about it. Go. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> so whatever you think you shouldn't do in a relationship, you guys, drop it in the comments. I want to talk about whatever you have to say, too. Please, what are some things that you should not do? Abby, I can't wait. I'm freaking so excited. Um, squirrel, Rachel. <laughs> uh, but drop it in the comments. What should you not do in relationships, you guys? 
Can't wait to be home. Get home safe, Amy, and charge that phone. So, um, what are some things? Right off the top of your head, what do you think you should never do when you're in a relationship? Outside of, like, the obvious cheat and stuff. I'm talking about, like, in a part of your relationship. So, like, the first thing that I wanted to talk about was keeping your freaking mouth shut. Can you keep your mouth shut? Like, <laughs> can you do that? So, like, don't lose mm -hmm. your, um... Aw, uh, thanks for the share, Amy. Guys, share this video. There's some there's some people out there that need to see this stuff. Seriously. And you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel because we upload it onto there, too. But can we keep our mouth shut? When you, like, get in a fight with somebody, don't lose your sympathy card with your friends and family. Don't. Just don't. Like, if you get in a fight and you go to your friends and family, your mom, and you're like, this freaking dude mm -hmm. is a low-life piece of shit, he treats me bad, yada, 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 well, what happens if you don't get out of that relationship? What if you get back together? Right, everybody know your business. And now, <laughs> next time funny. you fight and you want to say something bad about that person, people are going to look at you like, well, I told you so. Mm -hmm. You what? What are you doing still there? Yeah, that's the worst, ain't it? Everybody been through that before. Have you guys been through that? No. And like, we never talk about the good things about our partner. You guys ever realize that? Like, when we go to our mom and talk about this person, we don't talk about how, like, he rubbed my head every night, like nice, like just li these little things that he does nice. We're quick to just make him look like a or her. Look like uh, the bad person. It's never our fault, right? <laughs> How do you feel, babe? Oh, wow. Like, my ex, I'm just going to throw his business out there, our business, because we're no longer in a relationship and never will we be again. So, um, he used to go to his mom. Game member. He used to go to his mom. Every time we would fight, he would just storm up to her house. Because she lived close. That's the worst. And, like, that would give me ammunition to be like, Mommy's boy, yeah, go talk to your mommy about it. Like, Rule number one, men, don't give them no ammunition. You stay strong. You stay strong. Because uh, women will find that button. Okay? Men will find that button. Okay? Keep your business in your household. Okay? Unless you have a podcast or talk show like ours, they were very comfortable being open. Other than that, you need to shut up. Facebook is not a diary. I repeat. That was one of my points. Facebook is not a diary. Moving on. Do not post all of your bullshit on social media. Sorry. Who in here is tired of seeing that? You know, listen, I'm just, can, we, can we have a little laugh? You know, we're not being serious. We're having a little laugh right now. Aw, hey, well, Sherwin. Okay, so there's some people that will fight with their significant other. Oh, I can't, girl, I can't stand that bastard, <laughs> right? <laughs> Later on that night when he get off of work, oh, he, I just love him. He bought me Taco Bell and flowers. <laughs> It'd be some whack shit like that. <laughs> and I'm not judging, but then the day, like I said. I see that all the time. Earlier, you couldn't stand it when he went to work. Couldn't get, he ain't shit. So right? what? Then he texted you something nice, so now it's all good. Hey girl, I'm rub your feet now you're now he's your prince charming again. I'm rub your feet in your back tonight. You guys, like... <laughs> rub your back. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is totally live. This is serious, man. Like, look, we, this is being real here. Seriously, keep your bullshit to yourself, y'all. Like nobody wants to see that, and like. I mean, I get it. Your profile is yours to have. But what do you think when people start posting that shit? Honestly. Like, I don't know. We don't go through it. So I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Hope made spaghetti instead of tacos tonight. Oh, she ain't shit. Oh, hey, babe. Hey, queen. No. <laughs> Doesn't work like that. We're just too other. Are we toddlers? Are we too real, babe? Are we too real? There's no such thing. Okay. People get intimidated by that. You know, that it's real. okay. Mm -hmm. Let me go through the comments here, she you said, guys. She said it's okay, so it's okay. Abby, definitely. We don't lie. We don't cheat. We don't ignore. Of course, that's like the basic fundamentals. I'm talking um, about, okay. Don't, get, don't go to bed mad at each other. Good point. 
I got I, okay. I got one. That's a good one, Crystal. I got one I didn't even write down, but it, you know, just, Abby just gave me some ammunition. Okay, what's Are you up? Ready for this? <laughs> okay, and I'm telling the truth for you. Okay, um, is it okay for you to tell your man, "Hey, you got a little beard, but you need to get that off." Ooh. Is it okay to tell your girl? Oh, I, I'm glad how you started with the dudes. You started with the dudes, so you could prep the females in here. <laughs> hey, hey, babe, you know. <laughs> Probably not going to put that dress on tonight. Uh, you want to go to the gym in the morning? Is it wrong to How say do you that? guys feel about that? Is it wrong? Hey, baby, you got beer belly. Got that. You need to get that stuff Is that off. too real? You need to get some of worst products to get that beer belly off your stuff. Is that too <laughs> real, guys? I don't know. What you think? I don't know. We're both athletes, really, so we... We tell each other, like, look, bro, I'm working on this. Who's about that time, baby? Come on, let's get back in the gym. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Just, you got to make it fun, guys. You do. And, and like me and Hope always talk about all some real stuff. Uh, fight fair. Yeah, it's going to happen. We're going to have disagreements. But fight fair, man. Don't, don't go below the belt. Don't don't start talking about uh, childhoods and bringing up past from, you know what I mean, from people's uh, childhood. I know I was in relationships like that before where I, I cared about the girl and told her, hey, you know, I, I grew up like this, man. It's crazy. You know what I mean? I got certain triggers. And she would push that button. She would keep on pushing that button. That's don't like, push the buttons, y'all. I mean, it's just one of those things. You know? If you already know it's going to be a button, don't use it for your advantage. That's being selfish. And we see where they're at now. Lie, cheat. Other than that, it's we're crickets. cool, Rachel. Yes. It's a lot of crickets, right? <laughs> yes, Jody. Lie. Take each other for granted or be petty. Don't yeah. be petty. Yeah, that's and true. that was one of my things, too. Like, um, determine your deal breakers, you guys. If you don't have deal breakers and you're not open about them, how the hell are they supposed to know? That's true. I tell Will my lines, right? I tell him my lines, don't cross this, A, B, and C, and then we're cool, right? Um, so he knows that. Good. But, like, if it's not a deal breaker, chill out. Don't be petty. That's... Like, when I told Will what I wanted to go over tonight about the relationship don'ts, he was like, oh. I gotta start putting the the toilet seat down. <laughs> I just thought about it, like just. Right, right that was the down. first thing he said, and in my mind, I was like, "Well, it's not a relationship breaker. I'm not gonna break up with you if you don't put the toilet seat down. I don't, I don't, so why am I gonna turn it into a big deal? Don't, don't be petty." Yeah, that's true. But no, there's there are some men and women out there petty. I understand that. Certain men clean a certain way. Women, certain women clean a certain way. I understand that, but that's all communication, and it can be fixed. We say that, but some people can't. But it's nothing to like fight over. Listen, at the end of the day, it boils down to finding yourself and knowing who you are. And uh, like we talk about in business, obviously, the non-negotiables have non-negotiables in your life. You have a certain morale. You have a certain uh, way you grew up. A certain way you feel. Hold on to that because it's your way how you feel. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, find somebody who can uh, uh, tend to that. Find somebody who can uh, love you for that. You know what I mean, for real. Don't, don't. I just think that we're in a very judgmental world. Very judgmental world. And at the end of the day, everybody look in the mirror first before they open their mouth, period. I said it. Me. I said it. Pity party. I feel that a lot of people are childish on Facebook. ooh -wee. What's up, Stacy? Ooh, don't talk about the book. Childish. Facebook, I always tell Courtney, Facebook is like a woman on her period. Ooh, good analogy. Like. Wait, oh, wait. I'm thinking of women. Wait, wait. <laughs> the hell you mean? Emotional. Like, Facebook is emotional. People are always venting. People are always, like, posting what? some crazy ass shit. Like, people are. <laughs> Don't put your relationship out there, you guys. Not cool. Not, not, nobody wants to see that. And like, your Facebook page, like, <laughs> yeah. There was this one person, I'm not gonna point anybody out, but I'm like, take a sip of water. Details. Keep the details to yourself. <laughs> like, they, like, it's total drama, so we'll sit there. Anybody else get lost in the scroll of a post when someone puts, like, you cheating ass whore, like, and they'll put screenshots. First of all, can we stop screenshotting our conversations? Can we stop Seriously, <laughs> like, people are, you can't say shit to nobody anymore because you're afraid they're going to screenshot it and put it all over Facebook. Real talk. Stop screenshotting your conversations and snitching. Like, you're hiding behind your screen at this point. And that was another one of my points. Um, posting every detail is not cool. Can we also be honest here? 
Okay. There's an app that I've heard about. Okay, I'm just gonna put that out there. What are you? There's an app. You heard about? There's an app I heard about literally, and people actually can change your screenshot messages. True story. So I heard. I don't even get down with like, it. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Oh, okay. But I've heard of that. I don't know, y'all. I've never heard of that. If I'm, you've heard of it, let me know. Listen, there's an there's app. Okay? So you don't even know if the conversation is right. If you ain't see the person do it, if you ain't catch up on video, <laughs> it ain't true. <laughs> I'm just being real with you. Pictures are worth a thousand words. We can't say that no more in 2018. You can't say that no With all more. All the picture editing apps and everything. Girl, it's oh, crazy. Hey, some of the Instagram models you look at. Oh man, look at that girl, man. She they look have ass bad. that you can you can get like a bigger ass and tits and um, clear your skin out, get a whole nother hair color. There's an app for that. Everything's apps, guys. Facts. If they're not real, in front of ah. you, I don't know what to tell you. I used to have kindergartners ask me if it was a weave. Just weaving your hair. No. Okay, so anyway, back to like the the losing weight with things, ladies. I said it. (laughs) Y'all be able to do this to your girl's hair and it did not fall out. Seriously. You don't like weaves or anything like that? I said it. I don't like weaves. He doesn't like fake hair. I'm sorry. Okay, if y'all didn't see my story mode, go back to it on Instagram. Say I grabbed that goddamn big ass picture of Kool Aid. Okay, if I grab anything, even in a like nice manner, Probably come out. This is strong. Strong. Stallion. (laughs) Stallion. Hump day. Hey, y'all better get y'all hump. (laughs) Get your hump on today. (laughs) Um, Comments. So Courtney was saying about ladies, if you're comfortable with your man telling you that you need to drop some weight or don't wear that ridiculous outfit. She said, uh, we are honest with each other when it comes to losing weight and stuff. I'm okay with it. Yes. Kids. Yes. Um, can we have Dane? No. Dane's sleeping. Okay. <laughs> they like the Saint Bernard. He's he uh, sleep, he uh, goes in the room and watches TV. What they're doing on there. But he wants to be sleeping right now. Yeah, he's always sleeping. But yeah, girls, can you be completely open with your dude telling you like, don't wear that terrible shirt? That's a good. That's a good point, though. I think that's huge relationships. So I said, some women. Like I said, in a day... Like, ladies always ask their dude, Does, do I look crazy? I always say that. Do I look crazy? My, my that thing. means, do I look ridiculous? And do I need to change this? Just tell me. She wants an honest opinion. I do, yes. She was doing honest. Some women... Okay, let's be, can we just be real? No white lies. Can we be real? Babe, yes. Okay. Women, you know if you've picked up some pounds, you need to lose them. Men should not have to tell you that. You should be in tune with who you are. Every single Nobody day. needs to tell you. That's self development. Yeah, nobody should tell you. You should know, hey, you know what? Probably been slacking a little bit. Probably need to get on these products. <laughs> I probably need to, you know, go for a, you know, a walk. Or... I've been tightening and toning using my at home spa treatment, the wraps. She definitely has. She's been wrapping. Doing another one tonight. Can't wait. Amazon. Yes. I'm going to have a freaking eight-pack mess with y'all. Y'all keep playing. <laughs> y'all keep all playing, man. I'm like, look at home. Like, and ladies, like, seriously, there's nothing more better, more better, I said it, than the feeling of being confident with your body and your relationship. Ladies, a lot of times we get eating food, we put on those extra pounds, that freshman 20, the sophomore 40, like... <laughs> Wait a minute, what? <laughs> My light just turned out. <laughs> um... He said, what? Um, I heard a there is nothing more sexy. Okay, everybody says 15, but it's really 20, if not more. And we need to make sure we're taking care of our bodies so we can feel confident in our relationship. Seriously. It shouldn't, like, you're, it's not about looks, you guys. Like, it's not about, like, there comes a point but when. There's some people, though, but in this world, it, we're very, we're very. I'm just saying, don't use it as like a um, cop out. Yeah, like it. Oh, it shouldn't be about your looks in a relationship. It's about okay. your heart and what's inside. But there's, I'm talking about from the confidence standpoint and how you feel in your relationship. It's much better when your man can like pick you up and throw you around than not. So you know what I mean? Be thrown around. I'm just saying, 
to be able to jump on their back and they, it doesn't break their back. Like, to be able to, you know... Um, wait, wait, wait. Jump on whose back and break whose back? Wait a minute. What are you saying? I'm just saying... Me jump on your back? No, the woman. Oh. It feels good to be able to do whatever the hell you want with your body. That's true. I feel you. And feel confident about it. Yeah. So that is, I think, an important point in relationships. How do women get there, babe? And you're a woman. You're a mother. You have two children. You it's know, not how, an easy road. How do, how do women get not that, for women. that point to gain that confidence? First is taking care of your body. Hmm. Because in our mind, if we look a certain way, then we're like just the biggest garbage dump in the world, right? right? So, like, we got to make sure we look however we want to look so what I take and take, that, yeah. take responsibility in that. So, so, I mean, we use wraps, all natural products. What I take from that is, like, um, women have to be comfortable in their own skin first. Yeah, man. Know, know who you are. Know, yeah, man. know your body type. Know, hey, if I eat that donut, probably going to pick up some weight. Well, and it's a, te- it's a testy subject because I'm not saying you're only beautiful if you're little. Yeah. I'm talking about, like, I'm a big girl, you guys. I've big been guy. big my whole life. I mean, you don't count because you're a man. So you keep and saying that, but nine. men count. Guys. I'm not the average man, but men count. Men have feelings. Men have... I get it, but the, the body image is a lot different for most of the time for women. You're not, like, an insecure man, so you don't... Uh, yeah. But anyway, like, I've spent my whole life being bigger than everybody else around me. All Like, my whole life. So my big like lesson was I don't need to be skinny to be beautiful. I need to feel comfortable in my skin to feel beautiful. So like I may have love handles and be bit like big figured and whatnot and still feel like I'm 20 pounds. You know what I mean? It's not about your weight. It's about how you feel in your own skin. So if you have roles and you love those roles and you feel comfortable with that, that's awesome. That's what that's what you need to work to get. And be real, like for men and women and whoever's in your life, like I said, please share because I want both parties to watch it. Ain't nothing more confident than a woman who's comfortable in her own skin. Don't nothing feel like that's sexy to me. And can I just tell them a little detail yeah. that proves that? Like, the first time, remember when we wrestled? Okay, this stuff ain't written down. Wait a minute. What? When yeah. we wrestled. Cool. Like, the first time Will and I were intimate, we, like, Wait a minute. wrestled naked. I won't forget it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, he, I love that though. Like Wait we were both just like naked wrestling, like legit wrestling on the bed. Remember? Uh, yeah. And that's like sexy to me because hey, you like can little roll little around, little. try to put each other in headlocks. <laughs> Let me tell you something. It's okay. And you don't it's... have any clothes on. Like that was a different experience for me. I guess that's why oh. I, I bring it up. It was different for me. Definitely. Started to be able to like. Wrestled naked. I don't have any clothes on. I'm not always pulling my shirt down to cover my like stomach. Yeah, no, that that was yeah, that was yeah. No, and you I, were just saying like being confident in your own skin yeah, is sexy. Yeah, it was, I, was, I was definitely surprised when she pulled all her goddamn clothes off. I was like, you want to wrestle? I'm like, hmm. Well, I guess we can wrestle. Hell yeah! And she legitly like knows how to wrestle. This is before the. Y'all can laugh all you want, but... <laughs> this shit's real. <laughs> shit, the fuck you want to say? That day we were wrestling first. Oh, shoot. What's up, guys? Hi, Sarah. She put the shit out there on Facebook. I did. <laughs> Ladies, be able to wrestle naked with your dude. Or whoever. Mm-hmm. Or whoever. No you judgment. know, whatever your partner is. Period. No, no judgment, you guys. You know no, that. Yeah, fuck. We know we know. Facebook is overrated with childish shit, petty negativity. Yeah, girl. Facebook is literally like, I've been knowing Will since he was in second grade. Instagram's like, what's up, bro? What do you do? I do this for a living. What do you do? I'm a DJ. Cool. I just people to DJ. That's so true. Let me get it. Let me get uh, Let me get your information, man. I'll share it with you. Guys, it. add me on Facebook. Add Will on, or uh, Instagram. Add Will on Instagram so we can. Uh... <laughs> I, 
Listen. I got to read these comments. I was going to go down through what Rachel said. Will side mouth in his personal movie in his head. Th this is all a fucking movie to me. Guys, if you don't know how to understand your man, understand, or your partner, understand. It's not true. It's a whole movie in their head. It's not true. Will. All men are not like that. All I'm not saying women all are. women are alike and all men are alike. Will is like that. But you live in your own world, it's right? A, it's a fucking movie in my brain. I've seen this shit before. <laughs> Y'all need to catch up. <laughs> Levon, you need service, girl. Your stuff always freezing out. Not for real, though, man. Like, like I, You hate being naked, Courtney? I love it. I would, like, rather not wear clothes than wear uh, clothes. But that's just my preference. I'm, like, gonna be a, a I'm free bird. I'm never going to do that. I'm never going to go live naked. I'm never going to do that. Yeah, I'm not going live gonna naked a, or anything. We're going to a podcast but... one day and just be... We can subscribe to something because we're very free. We can subscribe to something and potentially do that. You know, just to keep the upper upper region. You know, don't want nobody to see the package. <laughs> Stacy, coming from where we come from, like we used to mud wrestle. See, I don't know about that shit. Sorry, I don't. I remember Halloween. Uh, Keith. Something I can't remember his last name. Shit. If anyone knows, that's coming out. God damn it! Oh, come on, he had a girlfriend. They were together for like much. ever. Damn it! I knew, knew you was mud wrestling. I had a goddamn mud wrestling my team. What? Bro. Like that is fun. Who the fuck mud wrestles? I've never been one of those guys who's like, oh look at those women mud wrestle. Oh, it's a turn on. It wasn't like we were in bikinis or nothing. Oh what? You know, it was it's... Halloween time. Think about mud wrestling. He had a camp camp out over the weekend with a bunch of people. There was like 30 or 40 of the high schoolers there just camping out. There was a big mud pit and we wrestled. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit got real. Don't <laughs> you wave. Shit has got real. Um, with clothes on, mud wrestling is awesome, Courtney. <laughs> Courtney, let me tell you something. I don't know what y'all doing on uh, the PA, but... uh. Us city folk don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, this is hilarious. Us city folk do not mud wrestle. Yeah, girl, the good old That's days. It. Back That's in it. the good old days, right? Yeah, y'all can have that. We're going to still mud wrestle. We'll have a Team Strong mud wrestling. Oh, wow. Um, wow. Which, shout out to y'all. I'm, I'm just Man, like so happy. Team Strong. I don't do a damn I'm so it, happy. Shout out to our team. Thank you guys for staying Motivated real. individuals. Thank you guys for being 100. Understand that you work from all different walks of life, but we're Country real. Thing, absolutely. We don't Courtney. lie to each other. We're there for each other. We help each other every single day. Somebody on our team is talking every single day. I love that. I, I don't like fake people. I'm sorry. I, yeah, no, I don't. I, I'm sorry. I don't like it. I really don't. I don't like that. Don't tell me you like me and then you don't like me the next day. Don't do that. Yes, Daisy, everybody's down. Mud Wrestling coming up. Team Strong well, events are coming up. Listen. It's going to be big, y'all. It's going to be so what, much fun. A, we're getting a lot of PA people on our team, baby. <laughs> hey, listen. Our whole team, let me tell you, I love you all. We're getting a lot of PA people on our team talk about bears and shit. Listen, I want to go hunting. Let's go hunting. Man. <laughs> That's all I want to do. Take the city boy hunting. I want to go hunting. I never get the privilege to shoot at an animal. We before. down, Stacy. What you think, Courtney? Take me deer hunting. Rachel, I bet she's down for hunting. I she's a country gal. I acts like it anyway. Baby, I don't know about no bear hunting. No, I don't know about that. Will, I got you. I don't know about that. That's what I'm talking about, Crystal. Let's just go deer hunting. <laughs> deer. <laughs> That's funny. Now, Hope will tell me stuff about the mountains, man. Tell me how they were. You know, catch deer and then, or like, shoot deer and stuff. And then, like, the bear would, like, take it. You just, like, well, you gotta let him have it. You just can't. You know, hungry bear. Courtney, we'll do it all at the same time. Water challenge and then mud fight. I mean, mud fight, water challenge, whatever. Oh, we'll do it at the same time. Chris, I appreciate it, you know, because. She you know, says she's a city kid, too. Chris, I You know what? It's okay. Like. I just want to shoot guns. I, hey, listen. That's, Harley Quinn coming out. I like. Listen, I like shooting guns. I like a, I'm city slash country. She's mountain country. Big difference. Difference. Big difference. Right, Stacy. Big difference. Mountain country and country, two different things. If you didn't know, some people from Louisville, Kentucky, and the whole country. No, that's country. This is mountain country. 
you see goddamn billy goats and shit, and they rattlesnakes and pick them up and stuff. <laughs> Different story. What's up, Pam? Hi, Alyssa. Seeing uh, going going to going to relatives' houses and seeing big slash marks in the 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 the, the blinds and it it took it to patio. another level, y'all. I wasn't used to no bear slash. We used to cut up deer in your kitchen. Exactly. Who doesn't do that? Who, doesn't Who do hasn't what? do that? Does done what? that? Do what? Courtney said we used to cut up deer in my kitchen. I'm glad she's on my side. <laughs> <laughs> you should have saw Will's face when we went fishing and uh, he caught a big ass bass. And we brought it home into our kitchen and I sliced it up right in front of him. Filleted it out. I showed him how I cut it to make sure there's no bones in it. And then I fried it up, y'all. I put some eggs and milk. And you know how we do with the seasoning and breadcrumbs and all that. Coat it up. Put it in the frying pan. He like he was like, babe, we only caught one. <laughs> we needed more. I wanted more that night. We hung and processed them in our shutter garage. Yeah, girl, we have to, you know, I was explaining to Will how you have to, like, let them bleed out, you know, that make sure they don't get too see, hot. That's don't bother make me. sure you cut it up before it gets too that's hot. Don't bother me, process man. it. Where are my city get it in the fridge like, so you can grind it out, make burger out of it. Deer burger is so good. See, you guys in the mouth, we just go shoot guns and see if we know we got to get bucked off and shoot guns. Hi, Alexia. That's different. Okay, so anyway, back to our relationship don'ts. Okay, we got don't talk to everybody about your relationship, guys. Oh my gosh. Privacy is important. Don't lose that. Um, so stop snitching. Stop doing that. Yeah, stop snitching. Stop, hey. We're not going to um, take screenshots <laughs> and post them. Okay, stop let's snitching. just promise ourselves we won't do that. Um, and then how about talking about your issues through the text or phone? Like you always say, babe, like it was a text. I interpreted that wrong. Yeah. Like, you know, like, like for instance, like if, if host sent me a text message and, uh, you know, venison jerky, I made all, deer bear jerky for him, Stacy. All I'm so doing good. is reading it. You know what I mean? So in my mind, I'm making her, my, her voice in my head in a certain manner. It may not, and uh, you know, so does that, anybody know what I'm talking about? Like, if you have an argument or disagreement or something, you're sending a text. Those are not good because you can't hear the person's voice, right? You're just assuming or reading that shit. That's what you said. Well, that's not what I meant, babe. I, I didn't mean that, man. My, I wasn't raising my voice. I just sent you a text message. So I don't like the texting or, or the disagreement or even conversations, big conversations over text messages. I don't like them because. Have you guys ever done that? Like a the, fight? You, right, you read it the wrong way. Real talk. Broke out way. because you read it the wrong way yeah. and you you assumed what they were, how they were saying it. There's been time I call her, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> What are you oh, talking babe, about? Like, like yeah. I'm like, what? Yeah. Like, who said that? <laughs> what? I, what, man, what? I, I didn't say it like but, that. So, and that's her thing. I didn't say it like that. Like, oh. Because you never know how it's going to come out when he All reads right. it or I read it, you know? And another thing, don't hide behind your screen, you guys. Don't, like, get in an argument and then you're away from each other at work texting each other back and forth. Uh, you suck ass. I yeah. hate you. Uh, you can go... Say Walk in traffic, say like that shit to my face, <laughs> say that shit to my face. bringing up stuff from the past, having a text fight in war. Like, who got time for that shit in twenty eighteen? We get some money. Get face to face. Look each <laughs> other in some, the eye. Come on, do y'all agree with me? Get some money. Like, who got time to sit up and deal with that type of petty shit, man? If you want to build an empire together, these are don'ts. Just don't. Because it's going to be a waste of your freaking time. And then you're going to be thinking about that person in that negative fashion for how long? Until you decide to get over it. Black and white. Seriously. So don't hide behind your screen like these crazy ass people portraying there's someone else. You guys have seen, what is that show called? What's that, man? Um, The computer. Oh, Catfished. Oh, shit. You guys have seen that show. Don't be one of those catfishers, aye. okay? Aye. Don't hide behind your screen and okay. portray like you're a badass. Okay. And then when you get in front of them, you're like, oh, yeah, babe, be, I didn't listen, mean it. That's like, my, hey, let me tell you something. What? Shout out to all the men that I have blocked. Shout out to all the men that reached my girl after hours. Next phone to hope problems. Listen, shout out to all the people out there who hope is blocked on Facebook. The men Lots who, of who them. call them after night and I will pick up. <laughs> shout out to all y'all Guys do that. Pussies. It's crazy. I just say, you know, you want to talk all that shit, say it to me. 
You don't got to say that old boy. Your man does it all. Say that to me, brother. We can talk. We can have a man conversation. You ain't got to involve the lady folk in it. I'm not going to hurt you because my hand is bigger than the average man. <laughs> like I pick up pictures of Kool-Aid like this. Whole pictures of Kool-Aid. Drink them. Don't get mad because you can't do that. Okay, I'm just being real with you. It's like it's a cup. You know, the pictures of Kool-Aid, kind of off topic. But you yeah. have a handle so you can pour it into a regular cup. He just picks it up with one hand and drinks out of it like it's a, cu- a cup. The pitcher. I promise you I'm a gentle giant. <laughs> okay, another thing. Uh, laziness, not doing your part. So after uh, the honeymoon stage, what the, what are you doing to Rachel, keep the spark what, going? Hey, what's this mean? You get saluted, goddamn You got to go. Hey, listen. If you could have the honeymoon stage every single day, I... Baby, in my life, it's the truth. Five years in, yes. You really can. You really, literally can. But, number one, you got to be real with each other. Understand where that person's coming from and put it out there. Hey, Wanted to get a distributor. Hey, whoa, let's whoa, get whoa. it, Rachel. Whoa, what, happened? what happened? She said, be right back. Wanted to get a distributor. Oh, team's damn strong, man. Hey, listen, I love my team, y'all. I love what we do for a living. Uh, I, and I mean, that. even if this video stopped right now and Facebook just shut us off, I want to thank God for you guys who tuned in. Thank God for you guys who, uh, you know, believe in us, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or just, just even uh, been supportive in the past, future, whatever have you. Thank you so much. We want to thank you guys in advance because we wouldn't really be here without you guys. We we do these lives. Um, it's becoming daily now, babe. We got yeah, the Motivation is. Monday and two, Truth Tuesdays. Wednesday's hump day. Thursday's what? Thirsty Thursday. Thirsty Thursday. Thirsty Thursday. <laughs> then Friday, me and Jeff got our thing. So and you guys, you got you got your thing on Fridays. So man, I'm just very proud uh, of, of the the way our team's evolved. And really being able to be open with each other, helping going each other, live man. with uh, Abby tomorrow. Can't wait to start sharing her story, I can't her wait. perspective. Hey man, shout out to Abby Hart, man. She's, she's so inspirational, man. She really is. She has a, ba- a big heart in her life. She really lives up to her name. And and for instance, man, like I said, I want to throw a quick plug in there. Abby's been watching this for like a year, guys, and she's just now about to join in a couple of days. Our team. She's going to join our It Works family, and she's going to join our team strong in a couple of days. She's been watching this for a whole year. Been very very supportive. He said, well, you know what? I think I want to do this because I can make some money. I know people out there want to be healthy. I want to do it. So, uh, shout out to Book her. Book club, myself. vampires. Yes, Crystal. Shout it's a her. Friday. Shout out to Crystal. Uh, support sis on the book club stage. Crystal Stacey. Shout, hey, shout out to all the Team Strong people getting their own right now. Everybody's getting their own YouTube channels. We're, everybody's, uh, some people talking about starting their own clothing line. So, I, man, I'm just, I listen, man, I know, I joke, the house. I know I joke a lot, Taking guys. over our finances, y'all. I know I joke a lot, man. I know we play a lot, but on a serious note, man, it's really emotional inside, man. I'm just it's keeping inside. It's important and it's for very, couples. I'm very, very, very proud of you guys. Really it's am. important for couples to have that support of friends and family. Even if you have to go find a new friend and family, like, to, to, to support you, you know what I mean? And that you can support, too. And it's just like a reach one, teach one. All together, I learn from my teammates every single day, you know, and you can't take over that the world without if it's just you, you know. True, true, true. And like I said, and at the end, like we say, uh, people, one thing about our team, uh, we are all different walks of life, come from different backgrounds, different colors, even, right? Right? We have some people have kids, some people have a lot of kids, some people only have a couple kids, right? We all get along, we all. Love that person for who they are. Crystal, you live up to your name too, Victory. For sure. For Seriously. Sure, for sure. I'm just. We have a lot I'm of angels so on our on our oh, team. Man, we do. We and do, a lot of do. warriors. I love the fact. I'm gonna be real with you. I love the fact that we're all real. If something on Crystal mind, she gonna fucking say it. In team strong, let everybody know the fuck she's feeling. Right. That's dope. Because at the end of the day, everybody's not gonna wake up happy all the time. It's just it's black and white, right? But then today, man, if you wake up, because we're gonna pick up our phones. Let's be real, we're in that type of world. When you pick up your phone, you look in a group chat or a team or family chat. It feels good to be like, man, hey, man, somebody being positive. It uplifts you. It, it does us every single day. Absolutely. We, we look forward to people commenting in our team strong chat groups. We really do. It's, it's it's dope. I love our team. I really do. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. Uh, one thing I had was uh, positivity. That's a do. Yeah. We talk about we have to. How about a don't is being negative. Okay. Flip it. It's 
Stop being negative in your relationship. If you don't like something, talk about it so you can change it, right? Yeah. Like, I think it goes back to just, like, being able to be open with your partner. Don't be, don't walk away. It, it, be real. Is it, is it, it's not fun to walk around your relationship on eggshells. Let's be real about that. Ever, has anybody ever been there before? I've told Will to his yeah. face before. I am not going to walk around here like I'm on eggshells. Like I'm walking on eggshells. I did that for nine years with my ex. I'm not doing it. Yeah, I, yeah. And you've said it to me before. So, like, we're very, very open because we don't have time. We're trying to build together. Man, ain't nobody got no time to be worried about old stuff. Or I mean, come on, man. Like, I, I don't know, man. If you're trying to build an empire, it starts with... Like I said, uh, the foundation within yourself and the foundation with you guys have as a unit because the first has to be self. I'm being real with y'all. It has to be me. It has to be hope. It's true. Because she has to know what's going on in her mind. I know what's going on in my mind, right? Then we can bring them together. That's a different level. And the little things matter. That's how you keep your spark. That's how you, you know, keep your relationship going every day is touch matters. I don't care what anybody's talking about. Like, I laid my head on Will's leg tonight, and he started rubbing my head. Like, do you know how amazing that felt? And I'm um, being real with y'all. She don't even know it. It's in story mode. I, I, I was recording. It's in story mode, but people, you know, little stuff like that. People, you know, just being a hundred, just being real. Like, that type of little stuff right there matters. What was she doing? She laid there, had her head on my leg, right? She was still working from her phone in the midst of that. I'm being real with you. She didn't know I was recording her. She really didn't. I don't... Well, sometimes we record, but it's... I, mean, well, a I lot really of times. didn't know you were recording. Hey, listen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sometimes, man, we just don't know. Sometimes I look at it, I'm like, really? Hey, guys, I got a confession. You're recording me? I got a confession. Okay. What's your confession? My conf hey, Kara. I'm going to tell the world this. Okay. Close up. Wow. Okay. What's your confession? My confession is... Um, other day when Hope was recording me uh, eating peanut butter <laughs> on a knife. Listen, I made the sandwich first. I looked back. <laughs> I licked the knife. Had peanut butter on it. I threw it in the sink. He didn't know I was recording. I didn't know. Stuff like that. Look, look, sounds something like something small. It's something huge because, I, you know, nobody's supposed to know that I like What's your butter. confession? That's my confession. Oh, the peanut I, butter? I, you know, I, was, I wasn't... Aware she was recording me, you know, I wasn't aware of that. What did you say? We're a very cute couple. Thanks, Mike. Who, who's that? I don't know. Okay, what's up, Mike? Uh, appreciate it, brother. Crystal all day. Have hope problems. Yeah, girl. Courtney's goal today was to have hope problems nine times. That's crazy. Where's your phone on now? <laughs> 32. 32. That's a lot for her. 16 is a lot for For being her. this far into our life, yeah, it is. True. But, yeah, y'all, don't be lazy in your relationship. Do little stuff for each other. We leave. You can even leave little notes everywhere. That's Hope's thing. She leaves notes. and you know, I like it. She likes that. I like it, you too. You like though. it, right. Yeah, it, it was, you know, it was a time I had a 9 to 5. and Well, actually, I won 9 and a 4 to 12 job before. And uh, I would, you know, get my lunch and it would feel good to see those. <laughs> we do that on a daily basis. Stacy, you're there. the best. <laughs> Peanut butter is her downfall. Oh, I know. <laughs> he I he know. didn't see me recording, you guys. It was the most hilarious thing in the world. And he was like, yo. he was almost sometime legitly like, upset that I recorded that. He's like, hope. Oh, sometimes, hey, listen, all the kids in the bed that? right now, listen, sometimes I'll be like, technology, I can kiss my ass, technology. Tell me. Oh, my, oh, and she'll catch me all the time with the people. <laughs> see, some shit. <laughs> see, some, everybody does listen, that. Some shit just ain't got to be out. You know what I mean? <laughs> then, like, some stuff you just ain't got to do. Who do in here doesn't lick the peanut butter off the knife or the, a spoon? Anybody get a spoonful? I've done it. You've done it. Don't say that you haven't done it, Will, because I've fed you food sp <laughs> spoonfuls of Wait peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> this was funny. I'm literally laughing, like smiling. She's just like, don't you say you did. Like, I'm not going to lie. I saw your face. Listen, she goes to sleep, and I get up. <laughs> <laughs> I could have got that spoon full of grape <laughs> jelly and peanut butter. Oh, it looked like why everybody sleep. I don't give a damn. Tastes good to me. He's just down there in the kitchen smashing peanut butter. Listen, I'll leave some for the babies. I'll leave some for the kids. Yes, we cool. Everybody got their own bowl You know what's cereal. really hilarious? Everybody got their own bowl cereal. I was just going to say that. Alex, my youngest. 
He won't eat any other cereal than Cinnamon Toast Crunch, squares. right? Squares. AKA squares. He calls them squares. What's hilarious is Will will go to the <laughs> to the cereal cabinet, pull out that box of cereal, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and he'll be like, Hope, didn't you just go to the grocery store? I'll be like, Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so why is the cereal almost out? I can't even get a bowl because Alex won't have any. I, I can't even get a bowl of cereal in my goddamn house. <laughs> Will gets hangry. Am I being real, y'all? Like Anybody's dudes get hangry or other half get ha- hangry. Like, I have a lot of hangry men around me. Listen, if I can't get a goddamn bowl of cereal in my house, something's <laughs> wrong. Now, y'all see me online with the goddamn pictures. Look, I got my own picture Kool-Aid. I promise you, the first time Bro, stop that I stayed the night with him, he ate. He was like, Hope, can you bring me a bowl of cereal? It was Pops. He likes Pops, right? And I brought in this little bowl. He's like, what the hell am I going to do with that? What the fuck am I going to do with this little And I was bowl? like, dang. So I had to put it in a big old plastic bowl, See, right? Y'all, y'all and work. I brought a tablespoon. He, was, he looked at the tablespoon and was like, what the hell am I going to do with that? Bro, like, <laughs> oh, listen, okay, this is be real here. I, listen. You know those big old nine like, years, cooking spoons? She was around an average man. Man height, maybe strength, weight, okay. whatever have you. I'm a different breed. Okay, I'm a different breed. Okay. I eat five servings five different times throughout the day, right? And I'm not talking about That's no another little, level, you guys. Little shit. I'm talking about big ass. He'll meals. eat one box of cereal in one sitting come on man like what do i like that okay here's our head here's my hand okay let's do the math on this okay do look, does this look like anything that would go eat old me don't bring me no, it's, I, it's disrespectful <laughs> god damn let's be real god damn hold on give me the phone give me the goddamn oh, phone shoot. if i come to your damn house and you got a small bowl i, I might walk out it's okay hope i stay it's okay hope i stay i'll leave so you guys go to the Family Dollar Store and get your big ass bowl. Okay? <laughs> now, I don't want to Until they go to the Family hey, Dollar Store. You go to Family Dollar, get you a goddamn big ass Tupperware bowl. You, hey, Will's coming to town. Uh, Henry, you need to go ahead and go ahead. <laughs> Tell your man, hey, listen, hey, bro, I'm not disrespecting your home, but goddamn, if I come through, get the big bowls. Get the big bowl. Don't give me a little bowl, baby. You know that. She hasn't done it since. I do now. She hasn't done it since. I learned the first time because he's hangry. She hasn't done it since. I gave him my first time giving him a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. She probably won. Well, and it was strawberry jelly. Yeah, what the? Yeah, don't even mention that around me. He made me throw that away, you guys. Trash. I had to throw who likes, the strawberry okay, who jelly. Who like grape jelly? Can we can we can we just have a poll on this right now? Grape jelly, give me a wave emoji or something. Put some grapes. Isn't there Put a some, grape? Yeah, we got a grape emoji. Put grape the emoji. damn grape emoji in there if you like. I grape wanna jelly. know who likes strawberry better. Put a strawberry Don't in do the that. comments. Don't I, I wanna know because I'm a block. Strawberry em. or a grape no you're not. People strawberry blocks, or right. grape <laughs> jelly. <laughs> If you're a strawberry, you're getting blocked from me. Let me tell you right now. Hold on, man. What? It's my network. God damn it. Look, we on her live. I go to my live. He's not. And I talk about you. all y'all that drink, that eat uh, strawberry jelly. I talk about every single one of y'all. Oh, ain't nobody gonna say that. Y'all quiet now. Great. Huh? Great. Who, who's great? Strawberry's totally better, y'all. But whoa, I haven't whoa, had strawberry. What did she then. say? No grape, Stacy. Grape is gross. Strawberry is life, Chris. Wait a minute. Oh, it's Abby just, put grapes. Crystal said grape is gross. Crystal and Stacy, yep. Damn, I, I don't want to block y'all. They team strong again. They ain't getting blocked. Hey, y'all love, it's been real. <laughs> He's not going to block anybody it's over jelly, real. but. Oh, Stacy likes raspberry. <laughs> I've never had raspberry, but that sounds really good, Stacy. She's just a nice person. Hi, Wanda. Wait a minute. She said grape is gross. It is. It's not. Raspberry. I mean, I don't think it's gross, but it's not as good as strawberry. Abby. Yes, Abby. Courtney. Abby. Abby's with me. Abby said Courtney, grape. strawberry. Love you, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm about See? To Crystal, strawberry. Oh, this is great. Yes. It's a headache. Sorry, Will. Oh, Thank you. Well, well, let's let me tell you something. Okay, I'm going to retract this statement. If it messes with your health, 
it's okay. You know, you gotta you, everybody get a pass, okay? But <laughs> if you ain't got no goddamn health problems and you eat grape jelly or you eat strawberry jelly and you just down in grape, we're gonna have to talk after this. Inbox me, we have to have a conversation. Over this, jelly. This is serious. Over jelly. This is fucking serious, right? <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. I'm just playing. I'm not going to block anybody. <laughs> yeah, guys. Strawberry all day. So, I guess the big thing about tonight is <laughs> mud wrestling. And... Wow. <laughs> mud wrestling and keeping it real. No, seriously. Like, Being like, able to take your clothes off comfortably. <laughs> yeah. No, I love the fact that we can even do this live and just be joking and just be ourselves, guys. I mean, honestly, the, you know, a lot of people can't do that to this day. People are married and can't stand their spouse. Me and Richard. I actually like her. I like you too. Yeah, she's pretty dope. You you alright. She alright. She cool. Oh no. Crystal said, Oh, all right, bro. No big bowl for you here. <laughs> <laughs> no. Listen, let me tell you something. We, we, can, listen, we, can, we can look. We can, we can. Oh, no, no. I'm gonna negotiate. We can negotiate. Listen. <laughs> I you know, we let me see here. He's, I need a big bowl. <laughs> I need a big bowl. Because it's gonna be night, we gotta have sleepovers, y'all. We all want a bowl of cereal. Who don't eat cereal at nighttime? It just me. Your ass be getting a bowl of cereal at nighttime. I'll cause... munch on yours usually. This is true. <laughs> Nothing about relationships. I'm gonna tell you guys. Should you be able to share your food? You can't have shit. Just <laughs> get that out the way. You can't have nothing. Don't. You guys share your food, Crystal, Stacy, yeah, Abby. Do. Y'all share your food. I've got all. Oh, oh. Could you have a whole plate of like steak and potatoes and mac and cheese and salad? Sounds great. And would you be I able to like whole... share that? Yeah, of course. I share that with you, baby. Would you? Who me? Uh huh. How many restaurants have I took you to? <laughs> no, we share all the time. What about the What about the lobster mac and cheese? Ooh, in that Cleveland? stuff is banging, y'all. Oh, if you haven't had that, you oh, gotta try that. Lobster mac and cheese. Mm. Holla at me. Now I gotta make some. That's why she's on my side, y'all. <laughs> I love cereal. You don't Here's even Corey. ask, Abby. I don't know, man. I just read. Oh yeah, Abby. Look, look. I love you. Don't. Don't do that Courtney, to Courtney, do man. you guys share all your stuff? Abby, don't do that to your man. Give do you him... ask first? Listen. Like, I know, I remember, I just listened really closely to Will, and I remember him saying that about his ex. She would just reach over and take his food, and that was one of his triggers. So don't I never listen, do that. Don't. I don't do that. Okay. <laughs> I don't do that. I'll always ask first. Hey, I, I, I usually don't take off of his plate. Sometimes we'll, like, yeah. use the same plates and just rotate whatever we're That's having. So young, man. Oh, okay, but like I don't just reach over while he's in the mid middle of eating. Don't mess with mac and cheese, lobster and cheese. Okay, we don't. Uh, he don't fight me. Crystal, we need some. I mean, that's cool. That's cool. I'm just you know talking about your big bro. You know, uh, but it's cool if he don't fight you. He shouldn't fight you. I mean, but I I just I don't know, man. Like just it's a respect thing. Like if you know, if we had a restaurant and order a steak, okay. If you want a steak, order your goddamn steak. You know what I mean? I'll, it's on me as a man to offer you, hey, baby, you want a piece of steak? Courtney no. takes it. She Listen, doesn't even ask. No, I don't want no steak. Okay, cool. So let me eat this shit. Don't let me get to my last damn piece. Tell me, I bet you ain't give me no goddamn steak. Like, <laughs> Hope don't do that, though. That, that, I don't know, you guys. I just look at it. I respect his world. So, like, I'm invading his world. If he's, like, eating and I reach over and just take some of his food, like, I just at least uh, want to respect his world and ask first. Like, yeah, like, don't be, like, eating some, <laughs> like, don't be eating some macaroni and cheese But and that's shit. because I know my man, that's all. If your men are cool with that, then it's cool. Yeah, everybody got a different household. Yeah. That's cool, that's for work for them. Nick, Courtney's Nick is a phenomenal chef, oh, the and it would be no, hard not to take Courtney, food no, Courtney, that listen, he cooks. Sis, don't do that to Nick. To Nick, Man, say something. It's okay. Listen, it's okay to be like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you, you got a piece of this before I eat it? You know what I'm Let him offer. Let him offer. Women, y'all better stop taking shit. And I'm just talking about food. I ain't talking about nothing else. Whatever y'all want to take, y'all y'all right to take it. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> 
respect respect Papa Bear's food, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't... Dudes, I mean, ladies, if you think about it, right? Food is the way to a man's heart is what they say. That's what they say. That shit ain't true. Okay, but guys like to eat. And they like a woman that can cook. True? Okay, I know women that can cook and ain't. You know, I understand, but men like to eat, right? And women men like, like women yeah. that can cook, right? More. I guess so- I don't know. I don't know what men like. What do men like? Well, I mean, there's men that like anyway. Dudes either <laughs> or <laughs> like to eat, and they're very good cooks, and they like to eat, or they like a woman that can cook and feed them. Okay. Men like food is all I'm saying. Yeah. We like food. So. We like to eat. Respect their food. Women like to eat, too. I like to eat. Yeah. I'm just saying. Some of y'all women, y'all got to be real. Stop eating them goddamn salads and water. And just, oh, so I'm going to have a dinner. Get you some goddamn food on your plate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anybody, you know, we want everybody to be, be healthy this summer, man. Courtney, that sounds so good. Wings. Courtney, stop bullying him. And <laughs> Nick. <laughs> Nick, 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 Nick. Oh, shoot. No, I'm getting Nick back because the other day he said I went live and he said I needed a hug or some shit. So, Nick, let me tell you something. You stop getting bullied by her. It's okay. You tell me. <laughs> that day we'll get her. We'll get, we'll get her squared away, man. You make sure you... Courtney, start asking him. Don't do that. Don't do that. Take that, Nick. Damn it. You gotta be strong, brother. Team strong. God damn it. You gotta be strong. I agree, Crystal. I love salad. Salad is life, but I'm just talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Don't go to all like you, a side salad. People go to an all you can eat restaurant, and get a goddamn salad and water. That's all I'm gonna have. Don't get that at the Listen, buffet. If it's a buffet, I'm getting one of almost everything. When you when you've been on dates before in your previous life, and you go out to restaurants and stuff, did you just get salad and water? No. Okay. <laughs> I've actually had a lady. I need more than that to sustain yeah. me. Oh, I just had this, this, this. I just had this Fiji water. That's it. And I've got a goddamn full course meal for me. I'm all. Oh, that's all you want. That's all, that's all you want. Oh shit! Well, <laughs> I'm just a honey. I gotta be real about it, man. You gotta be able to, you know, be yourself. Don't your be a Kardashian, skin. she said. That's right. Your man's only going to be able to keep up with your bullshit for so long if you're Miss Amy's Pris. back. What's up, Amy? Don't be a Kardashian. Yeah, listen. Don't be a Miss Pris. What, I mean. I, Chris, can you tell me what you mean by a Kardashian? I, I really, I just want to elaborate on it. What do you mean by that? Don't be a Kardashian. Because them, them women is fucking up people's lives. I'm me. <laughs> I said it. There's a lot, of, a lot of downfall with those. I'm with Hope. Okay. Stacy, we're just alike. I'm telling you. Stacy, you know it's no. Okay. I'm not trying to compete. I'm, I'm definitely not trying to compete with y'all. Just, <laughs> I don't, I don't mud listen. wrestling. Who in here would go mud wrestling? Put a hand up. You would mud wrestle with me. Who's gonna wrestle me? Me. Oh, okay. You it? Yeah. Nobody else gonna wrestle. I'm. I'm gonna take you down. I've taken you down before. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You and mud wrestle with me? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Does it got to be mud? Like, <laughs> Guys, we should go live on here for hump day, mud wrestling. Ever, see the oh, the water. salad and water is all you ever see them order. That's what you mean. Oh, for. yeah. And then billionaires get you get that salad that Fiji water. It's contaminated. You yeah. know you're eating more than that late at night when the cameras are off of you and you're taking your fat fighters. That's what you're doing. Okay, the Kardashians wear wraps. <laughs> I got to tell you guys, they wear wraps. They do. They wear facial wraps also. They're in the spa every day, right? Getting treatments. <laughs> Be real, the average person can't afford no five six hundred dollars amy would go mud wrestling hey so would stacy yes put your hands up y'all if you would go mud wrestling let's see them i'm a mountain girl i ain't afraid we used to drive the four wheelers up on the mountains and well like right after it rained and there would be mud so deep we'd be driving through it i would we would just like pick up piles of it and throw it at each other while we were driving down the mountain that shit sounds like it hurt. Sounds, it was fun, actually. Okay. People got bills to pay and shit to Because then we would, like, drive through the creek People really fast, and the water would come up over us and rinse us off. People got bills to pay. People got bills to pay. <laughs> People, 
People the city Life is bills. about adventures. I don't care what you're talking people about. People in the city got bills to pay. They wear waist trainers. Stacy, they wear wraps every night. I'm sure. But, I listen, know they know they use our facials. They use their facial wraps. Shout to Diddy. Uh, it's okay. I'm wearing facial pass. wraps. Oh man. Yes, Crystal. Oh, wait. Crystal put a thumbs down. <laughs> She's not doing it. Crystal, listen. We need to talk. You see, kid, <laughs> yeah, like, what the fuck? People in the city got bills and shit. Like, what are you going to do now? I'm going to go ride this four wheel and throw some goddamn mud at you. Like, what? wait a minute. What, what, was that on the agenda? We can't get no gas, or we can't go get them to eat. We can't play PlayStation or something. You want to throw some goddamn mud at me down the mountain? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> is, is the goddamn phone bill paid? Like, what the fuck? Like, I know it's real talk, though. I, I, love, I do love the fact that men hope do come from different worlds because it's a balance. It really is. Like, there, there are times that she'll bring a different side out of me that's curious about nature, and there's a time... You know, things about the city, you know, but actually, as of late, she don't really like the fucking shit that goes on in the city with the damn traffic because it's, it's, it's been different. City life is not yeah. my thing. I don't, yeah. I don't know. Just when you have a lot of people, you see a lot of bullshit. Like, we were legitly driving down the road, sitting at a red light, y'all, and tell me in the comments, would you rather live? We're kind of getting away from relationships, but who cares? Would you rather live in the city or country, you guys? Seriously, like, and why? would you ha rather have to take a trip into town and or why? be in town? And why would you? And why, right. Yeah, we were sitting at a red light the, the other day, coming home. It was like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and there's a, there's a car, like, perpendicular to us, coming from the other way, right? That would go across in front of us, like this. Well, they're over here at the red light. And there's this, what, a car with no... Had no doors on no it. No doors. It's a four-door car with no doors. <laughs> no doors. Had no hood on it. No hood. The motor was sticking up out the car. Like, a, like one of them, like, I can't describe it. Like the spoiler was outside the damn <laughs> the car. Like the, the engine was lifted up for some reason outside the car with no hood. A totally no open doors. car, you guys. It it's like Fred Flintstone. Like just Flintstone. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's what it really was. So like there's this big ass truck sitting behind it too. Yeah. And there was a car in front of it. Well this car just starts squealing its tires, starts going forward and backward, and then all of a sudden just squeals its gas and rams right into the truck behind it. <laughs> And then on thing, purpose. The only thing you know is a dude who just randomly runs, jumps on top of a black car like, whoa, whoa, look at that shit. And now I ask you, <laughs> was that city or was that country? We were in the city, but those actions were what? Was that city or that kind of country? I mean, the, the, the messed up car is kind of country, but clearly they and were. He almost hit that dude in the front. He was really pissed off. It just, I don't know. Man. You, you people get, doing crazy we're, we're stuff. We're getting a lot in 2018. City I'm getting to where, like, people, like, because people are getting, like, more and more impatient. That's true. People are getting more and more, like, like, unfriendly like people are not yeah, friendly they don't not, care they're just going to where they're going they don't give a fuck what about other, today, other than you know, that that dude wasn't paying attention ran that girl like hit the back of her car thank god she didn't have a dead or nothing right but it's just yeah i don't know man. I, so like i don't know the country i'd rather just take a trip into town and <laughs> be cool take a trip into even town. i mean stacy said she's a suburb girl she likes the suburbs okay. crystal too Okay. We live in the burbs, kind of, but we still have neighbors, y'all. And, like, if the neighbors aren't cool, then what? Like, if they're drug dealers, then what? You know what I mean? We don't live without fucking drug dealers. I'm just saying. The fuck? Look, 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 look. Gotta find a good community Check this if you're out. in the burbs. Check this out. Listen to my house every day. Right? Open that window. What you gonna hear? Crickets? That's right. Pretty, burbs. We're pretty, in the burbs. It's pretty quiet around here. But, Which is nice. Because you're in the middle of everything. Like, we can literally go to... The city. or We can, we can go country. to the road up the street. We we'll go to a little fishing hole. If we, we go, go left, fishing. we'll go fishing. If we go right, we'll go to the city. That's it. I just like to be in the middle. It's pretty cool for me. Once again, this is my house. 
I didn't meet you guys. Yeah, big ass, grown ass man, dog on the floor, <laughs> snoring. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm gonna get off of here. It's hump day. Yeah, man. It's time to get your hump on. So everybody, go grab your partner. Go do something spontaneous. Tell them you love them. Tell them something positive. Tell them something that you know you've been wanting to say. Tell them something amazing about them. And, keep it uh, light. Keep it positive and, and smile. And for the people who are single in here. Give yourself a damn hug. Do something for yourself tonight. Or tomorrow. Do something spontaneous for yourself. Do something for yourself, man. Ain't nothing wrong with being Go look single. in the mirror and tell yourself something positive. For real. Go mm. look in the mirror and tell yourself you're going to, you know, do whatever it is that you want to do. Whatever you guys' goals are, man, remember daily to write them down. Every day should, you, every day should have a goal. I just, you know, I'm just, I'm not judging. I'm just saying I, this is something that helps us. You know, every day write a different goal. Now, cause every day is different. Let's be real. Every day, whatever you did yesterday, you can't get that shit back, right? So every single day should be special. Every single day should be different. Something different. You're doing something different. And communicate that with each other. Yeah. So we love y'all. I'm so excited to share this video. And, I um. I hope you told people we wrestle. Mud wrestling. No, you told me we wrestle naked. I think it's live. Wrestle naked, y'all. It's, it's a whole nother level when you can do that. I'm just saying. Wrestle naked. I love Amazon. My Amazon woman. Crystal, definitely Uber to our place so I can uh, show you how to mud wrestle. Oh, that could be good. <laughs> 15 minutes away downtown. Yeah, Stacy, that's uh, the life. Cool. Uber to your place. Nah, we definitely do need to have like, a cookout. Oh, man, it's going down, man. It definitely it's, is. It's, this summer is definitely going down. We, we we just now embarking on it, man. Look, like right now, we're trying to finish up the month strong, team strong. Let's finish up the month strong. Matter of fact, we got to get to work tonight. Uh, let's finish up the month strong, y'all. What's tomorrow's last day, right? The, yep. the month. Last day of the My month last tomorrow. Last day of the month, y'all. So, uh, you know, God bless everybody, man. Have a safe night. Be be safe out there. Love each other. Be positive. If they're not positive, get them away from me. I mean that. Family included. That's it, y'all. Mud wrestle. Wrestle naked. <laughs> she keeps going we out. Mud wrestle. Oh, gosh. <laughs>